Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Moth Mom. Recently, I was really lucky to receive an iPhone, which I now use for my face tracking for my VTuber model. I wanted to compare the iPhone to all of the different methods I've used for face tracking in the past. So in this video, I go through each method that I used and compare them side by side so you can get a clear picture of what each of them is like and what they're each capable of. This model that you see here was made in Vroid Studio, the stable version 1.6. Originally, I used the HANA app to apply simple blend shapes to my model. At the time, it was a really good solution and it allowed me to apply all of the expressions that I had set up in Vroid to my model. It's a push button solution that you can buy on Booth for about 15 bucks. Since then, I've applied more complex, perfect sync blend shapes using the HANA tool and Unity. You can also buy the HANA tool on Booth for about 15 bucks, though you will need to know how to use Unity to apply those perfect sync blend shapes to your model. I'll have links to both those tools and to some tutorials that will help you figure out how to use them in the description. You'll also find timestamps with labels for each of the different methods that I use. So you can go and see specifically what that method is and jump around if you need to. At the end, I'll put a lip sync test where everybody is lined up side by side. And then I will do a facial expression test with just the AI mocap in Android and AR kit in the iPhone. One other note that I wanted to give you guys before I send you off is that I haven't listed any of the face mocap apps that I'm using in the description. You can find that information about what I use elsewhere, but I really want to stress that the limitations that you see in each of these methods has nothing to do with the software. These were all captured using VC face with different software used to connect my camera and capture my movements and feed them into VC face to be applied to my model. But at the end of the day, the really big difference is in the blend shapes that are applied to the model and the technology being used. Simple blend shapes just don't offer the same range of motion as more complex ones do. And the iPhone's face ID dot grid technology that the front facing camera uses is beyond basically anything available to consumers. Whether or not the difference is big enough to justify an expense is up to you. At the end of the video, I'll do a little outro for you and I'll talk a little bit about how much each of these options have cost me and have a bit of discussion with you about whether or not I thought the investment was really worth it. Enjoy.
Hey, wasn't that very interesting? You can really see that the iPhone captures more subtle movements and overall provides a much more natural looking um, tracking. The Android solution is surprisingly very, very good and very close to what the iPhone provides you with. You can see I've also decided to include the simple blend shapes, both with just this, the webcam tracking, which is where I was originally using it, and with the AR kit iPhone tracking. And the results are what you would expect. It doesn't matter how good the tracking is. You could be using the best mocap solution on the market, but if your blend shapes are too simple, it can't, your model can't move to accommodate the subtleties in that mocap that's being applied to it. Was the iPhone worth it? And how much did each of these solutions cost? I spent basically zero dollars on the webcam solution and Hannah app was about 15 bucks. So the far end of the scale, the cheapest possible version was about 15 bucks. In the middle, we have the Android solution. I paid about 15 bucks for the Hannah tool, which I used to apply the advanced blend shapes absolutely worth it in my opinion. I already had an Android phone on standby that I could use, an extra one even, that I could basically permanently station above my computer and use as webcam. It was what I used as a webcam before I had the AI mocap software. If you have an Android phone already, this is a really excellent solution. And for the amount of time investment it's gonna take for you to figure out how to use the HANA tool, well, well worth it. Lastly, the iPhone solution. So again, it was 15 bucks for the HANA tool, which is still required for that AR kit perfect sync that you need to get those advanced blend shapes. iFace mocap is about 10 bucks in Canada at the time of recording this video. So I spent that money. And then the iPhone. I didn't have an iPhone already. You can use an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X or an iPhone X. Does the X stand for 10? You can get an iPhone X as the oldest version that will support this kind of technology. If you're not 100% sure of the iPhone you're looking at will support it, you need to look for one that has Face ID. I got really lucky and I spent a little over 350 bucks for this iPhone that I'm using now. So 350 plus 10 bucks for the software, plus another 10 bucks for the blend shapes, 15 bucks for the blend shapes. That comes out to about $375 before taxes and change. Is it worth almost 400 Canadian dollars to go from the Android solution to this? In my opinion, probably not. For a 3D Vroid model like I'm using, with the same perfect sync blend shapes that I'm using, I would say that the Android solution is very much good enough. If your content is not getting views with that level of high quality face motion capture, then probably the thing that you're gonna benefit from the most is working on improving the content. 
at the end of the day, the difference is definitely there. You can really tell, especially when they're side by side, how much better the iPhone tracking really is. But is it going to change your career? No. So at the end of the day, my recommendation, my opinion is if you have an iPhone, definitely use it for face tracking. If you have an Android, definitely use that. Don't worry about upgrading to an iPhone anytime soon. And if you're looking for the thing that is really gonna change how good your, your 3D model is gonna look on stream or in videos, get the advanced blend shapes. Spend the time, follow the tutorials, spend the money on the HANA tool and make it happen. Those advanced blend shapes, even with really simple tracking, are gonna make a massive difference. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, please leave a like. If you have questions, please go ahead and leave a comment. And if you like these sort of tutorials, every time I learn something new, I promise I'll share it with you. So why not subscribe? You can find me live on twitch.tv at twitch.tv slash Mrs. Mothmom on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the time of recording. If that changes, it'll be in the description. But for now, that's when I'm streaming. I can't wait to see you there. And why not stop by stream? Let me know if you think that the iPhone tracking is really worth it. Um, or if I just look exactly as goofy as I did before I upgraded. Have a good day. Bye-bye.